Hi, my name is Dr. Trudy Gores, and today we're talking about big hernias of the abdominal wall. Sometimes people will have hernias that many doctors have told them are not able to be repaired or are too big to be repaired. Uh, I think that most people should have an evaluation by an experienced surgeon in order to be able to tell them what their uh, chances of having a large hernia, whether it's in their mid-abdomen or around an ostomy site, uh, is because most of these can be fixed. So again, a hernia of the abdominal wall is where there's a hole in the abdominal wall and contents from inside the abdomen, whether it's fat or intestine, is coming through. Uh, this is a picture of normal anatomy where the six-pack muscles and the oblique muscles are all fused. When people have previous surgeries or potentially have um, large umbilical hernias, you can have separation of the six-pack muscles uh, from an area of weakness and then have the contents of the abdomen pushing through. For most people who have large hernias, they'll have very visible bulges and usually potentially pain. Sometimes you can have obstructive symptoms, meaning you have nausea or vomiting or constipation because your intestines are being pinched off in the hernia. In order to fix these larger hernias, sometimes it takes more than just placing mesh in your abdomen and closing the muscle over the top. Sometimes we actually have to do what's called abdominal wall reconstruction, meaning we're moving and changing the lay of your abdominal muscles in order to close the hole. Sometimes this actually requires releasing some of the layers of the abdomen and sliding them in order to allow for the holes to be closed. These bigger hernias usually take approximately two to three hours under general anesthesia to, to fix. Usually this also requires a stay in the hospital for one or two days, depending on your type of hernia. Once you have the hernia repaired, we actually will have you at home, usually wearing an abdominal binder for support of your abdomen. At times you can go home with a drain in place that's actually between your mesh that's in place and the muscle that we close. And this is because we don't want fluid to be collecting underneath the surface of the muscle and interfering with your mesh ingrowth into the muscle. If you do go home with a drain, we usually will bring you back to the office in about one week for its removal. After that one week, then we ask you to have uh, increase your activity week by week, but decrease the amount of heavy lifting that you're doing in general. We want you to limit your heavy lifting to 10 pounds or less than about a gallon of milk. After about six weeks, we'll see you back in the office to reevaluate your healing. And at that time, usually we want you to slowly increase the amount that you're lifting and the amount that you're doing to get back to normal activity. The chance of having a large incisional hernia or ventral hernia recur or to have the repair fail is approximately 15%. And that's because these hernias have a lot of pressure behind them. Uh, you, all, you already are dealing with weak tissue when you're bringing that together. And so while it's uh, a low percentage, we really want to try to increase our ch chance of success by having uh, diabetes under control and smoking cessation preoperatively.